Hi! In the previous video, we had gone through the introduction to water tank and its joints. In this session, we shall talk about the design requirements of water tanks according to the IS code provisions. The IS code used is 3370. The design of water tanks shall be based on adequate resistance to cracking and adequate strength. Calculation of stresses shall be based on the following assumptions. At any cross section, plane sections remain plane after bending. Both steel and concrete are perfectly elastic and the modular ratio has the value given in IS456 as m is equal to 280 by 3 sigma CBC where sigma CBC is the permissible compressive stress of concrete. In calculation of stresses, for both flexural and direct tension or for a combination of both relating to resistance to cracking, the whole section of concrete including the cover together with the reinforcement can be taken into account provided the tensile stress in concrete is within the permissible limit as given in Table 1 of IS 3370 Part 2 2009. In strength calculation, the concrete has no tensile strength. Coming to the strength calculation, the permissible concrete stresses shall be in accordance with the table 2 IS3370 Part 2 2009. In all these, the grade of concrete starts from M25 since the minimum grade of concrete to be used for design of water tank is M25. Next, permissible stresses in steel. For strength calculations, the permissible stresses in steel shall conform to the values specified in Table 4 IS3370 Part 2 2009. The minimum reinforcement as per clause 8.1.1 IS3370 part 2 states that in walls, floors and roofs in each of two directions at right angles within each surface zone shall not be less than 0.35% of the surface zone cross sections for high strength deform bars and less than 0.64% for mild steel reinforcement bars. The minimum reinforcement can be further reduced to 0.24% for deformed bars and 0.4% for mild steel bars. Next, minimum cover to the reinforcement. For liquid phases of parts of members either in contact with the liquid or enclosing the spaces above the liquid, Minimum cover to all reinforcement should be 25 mm or the diameter of the main bar whichever is greater. In the presence of sea water and soils and water of corrosive character, the cover should be increased by 12 mm but this additional cover shall not be taken into account for design calculations. Coming to the design of flows. If the water tank is resting directly on the ground, flows may be constructed of concrete with nominal percentage of reinforcement. In such cases, a concrete layer not less than 75 mm thick shall be placed on the ground and covered with a sliding layer of bitumen paper or other materials to destroy the bone between bare layer concrete and base slab of tank. In overhead tanks, the flow slab shall be designed for bending moments caused due to the weight of water and self-weight of the base slab. Thank you all and see you in the next session with numericals on water tank. Thank you.